if you notice redness on your face today and you act on whatever i'm going to tell you right now as quick as tomorrow it's gone hey loves so here we are again <laughs> it took me so long like so long to get to make this video because ah, because of issues like, like no light noise and all that i mean if you are a youtuber in nigeria you surely know the challenges before you shoot a video like some days we even make your plants and then the universe says no <laughs> So let's not take any more time and dive in. Today we'll be talking about sunburn and redness on the face. Even sometimes you notice that you're not sunburned, but still your face gets red and it gets you frustrated and all that. So today I will tell you possible reasons why that is happening and then stuff you can do inexpensive affordable stuff including home remedies that you can do to get rid of it like stop it from happening ever again so if you're here and you have issues with your face getting red for whatever reasons and you have issues with getting burnt easily under the sun this video is the possible causes why your face is getting red the first thing is of course we all know so on so on yeah so most of us have very very fragile facial skin and then so when we go under the sun, um, sun and then we stay for so long our skin gets very reddish like yeah another cause is rosacea rosacea is a skin um the fat skin issue but it happens to a few people so it can cause reddening of the skin too continue it no continue it no <laughs> yeah you guessed right these people actually took the light on my head <laughs> anyway we move um i must finish this video seriously so if you requested for this video you can see what i'm going through just for you so make sure you comment and like this video okay and don't forget to share it to your loved ones so i will just quickly go to the treatment what you can do two good products that you can get from anywhere very affordable cheap inexpensive and also two home um, remedies that you can use in order to get rid of redness and sunburn so the two products you don't need to do the first stuff i'm going to list for you actually you can just choose one and it's going to work for you like in less than a day so the first one you guess right your sunscreen attack attack mode if your redness was caused by you staying for so long under the sun dive into that sunscreen immediately then secondly fluids fluids water you need water like mad so when you get the skin issues there's something called trans epidermal water loss it's when your skin gets irritated by this stuff your your face your the surface of your skin loses water yeah so it also causes dehydration so in order to reverse this issue asap you have to treat it not just from the outside yeah not just from the outside in you have to treat it from the inside out this means you have to dive into water again drink more water if you don't like to drink a lot of water take a lot of fluids in any form just take a lot of food so i've mentioned water i've mentioned sunscreen so we all know that sunscreen is the, <laughs> is the expensive part but that's all right i'll tell you something else that works aside from water and sunscreen the third thing you can do is midday every day just splash water on your face if you have reddening of the skin especially this is for you like it's a lifesaver 
so once it's 12 p.m and you know that you know that's when the sun is mostly very hot and all that's scorching and everything so wherever you are probably you are at work just enter the restroom or something splash water on your face or whenever it doesn't have to be midday whenever you notice that stuff splash cold water on your face and then you will notice that it's going to come almost immediately then also when you get home make a milk mask this is the fourth treatment i'm sure everybody has milk in their house even if you don't have milk in your house or you're lactose intolerant <laughs> you can get a sachet of milk uh, mix it with a little water mask it on your face leave it for 10 to 20 minutes and then wash it off that's okay okay you guys are living abby I haven't told you the number one regimen, the number one treatment. And if you haven't subscribed, right now is the time to subscribe, like this video, and comment. Where did I stop? Yeah. Milk, milk mask. Oh, I've given you four treatments already for sunburn and skin redness. I know I said I'm going to give you just four. Yeah, but I... I haven't mentioned the first one like the number one products that can never ever fail you that product is aloe vera in whichever format it comes like whether it's the fruits or the um aloe vera face um products you know that one they normally sell in malls and stuff that the bottling the packaging is like a leaf like the aloe vera leaf just make sure that there is no alcohol content in it go through the ingredient list before you purchase it or if you planted aloe vera at your backyard you can as well pluck it then use it on your face the gel leave it on for 20 minutes and you can wash it out then that's for the evenings then in the morning you can use it as a serum too yeah just apply a little of it and you're going to find out that throughout that day it's not going to reoccur you won't have any skin redness or whatever of the sort. Yeah. So today's product of the day is aloe vera. Yay. Then um a bonus, a bonus product that is going to protect your skin for further reoccurrence is moisturizer. I'm not talking about the whitening cream and all that. I mean a proper face moisturizing cream get one so you can do one or two or all of these issues but i'm very sure that they are going to work for you so thank me not later now just go down the comment section and say thank you dd <laughs> anyway that's all for the um treatment but then there are some do not some things i wouldn't want you to be doing some things you must stay away from if you're having skin redness or sunburn issues with your face or your skin stay away from at that point in time when it's happening please run away from alcohol or any content that contains alcohol it's going to further irritate your skin if you do it then secondly tretinoin retinol retinae or whatever please 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 let's not do that too okay but for that moment when everything is going on with your face don't go close to tretinoin okay then another thing you shouldn't be going close to is any form of exfoliant both chemical and physical don't do it for them for that period because already your skin barrier is um has issues already so it needs to be strengthened so it shouldn't be exfoliating for that moment else you will further irritate or bruise your skin and then of course like i mentioned in the beginning don't stop stop burning yourself under the sun protect yourself if you must be under the sun use a sunscreen it's a lifesaver it's an anti-aging stuff is whatever is a miracle whatever a miracle product <laughs> whatever so 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 loves we've come to the end of this beautiful video i'm sorry once again i'm doing this video without light yeah they took the light but i'm sure i passed the message across which is the most important thing right so if you love my video if you love my content if you love me please don't forget to subscribe okay i'm 
coming in with another video um sometime in next week or maybe during the weekend so stay tuned and if you want me to make any review or make any other video for you or talk about anything for you or if you want to ask any questions you can email me or you can comment on the comment section i love you guys take care bye